Thank you very much for the invitation to speak today. Uh, my name is Jimmy um, and I am a rheumatologist, clinical fellow and PhD student. And this is key for me because it allows me to identify challenges that are faced to us in the clinic, to ask relevant questions, the answers of which may help my patients um, and also improve the lives of those living with autoimmune disease. So with that in mind, my attention turns to how we treat inflammation, um, such as the painful knee seen at the top left of the slide here. Inflammation is the body's response to any injury or infection, much like following a bee sting. We commonly treat inflammation with drugs like naproxen or ibuprofen, which we hand out like candy in the clinic. These drugs are good and they reduce the flames of inflammation, namely pain, redness, swelling and heat. However, they come with a trade-off. These drugs, when used for long term, have significant side effects, in the most part causing significant stomach upset. This can be so bad that left untreated, these can cause stomach ulcers, which can bleed and even cause death. So I found a new drug um, and these class of drugs actually show significantly reduced gut irritation in animal models. And I wondered maybe these drugs could be used to treat inflammation in our patients. So I set out to investigate one such drug called ATB346. To do so, I used a model of acute inflammation involving the injection of dead bacteria into forearms of volunteers, as shown in the bottom left of the slide. I recruited 21 healthy male volunteers who were randomly allocated into three treatment arms to either take naproxen, traditional naproxen, my new drug, ATB346, or no drug at all. Skin blisters were formed at four hours and 48 hours, again showed at the bottom of left of the slide, and the blister fluid was analyzed. So the result, well, the good news was that the drug was very well tolerated with no side effects reported in any volunteer taking ATB346. Perhaps my main finding was that those taking the drug showed a significant reduction in the number of this big blob cell in the middle of the slide at the top, um, the so-called neutrophil. Accumulation of these specialized white blood cells is considered the hallmark of inflammation. And as such, a reduction at this time point of this cell type represents my drug to be significantly anti-inflammatory. For those of us that like graphs at the top right, the white blobs show those taking no drug and the black blobs showing ATB346. And the line and the three stars linking the two shows a significant reduction in these cell types. In addition, pain was reduced at 48 hours in those taking the drug. And so in summary, I hope that I have convinced you that in my first inhuman study that ATB is potently anti-inflammatory and well tolerated. I propose to you that it is a safe alternative to the long-term use of traditional anti-inflammatories such as naproxen that we can use in the clinic going forward, not only in rheumatology, but across multiple medical specialties. And with that, I would like to thank everybody for listening today, and I welcome any questions at the end of the session.